Hey, how's it going? Today's episode, we're gonna do it on a buddy of mine, uh, Gilbert Martinez. He's a graphic designer slash skateboarder, and he just moved down to North Hollywood maybe about a year ago. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a little slice of his life and see what's been going on since he's been down here. I got into skateboarding at a really young age, about when I was seven, so I always looked up to people. I looked up at people's styles, I looked at how they dressed, how they skated, the way they acted uh, towards people, the way, just basically the way they skated, and I picked that up from them. I, I, I wanted to not be exactly like them, but I wanted to have their style, and this one guy, Mark Martinez, just good, all, all of our good friends, and he started this skate shop called Knuckle Board Shop, and from that... Uh, it turned into a print shop and just from that it's just it, it helped us grow and think of new ideas new possibilities it gave everyone an opportunity not just to skate but to do art and then connect it all back to skating or do music and connect it back to skating have a have a show and like yeah they, we're gonna be selling boards we're gonna be we're gonna have art up we're gonna have live music playing and he inspired uh, all of us basically just to inspire ourselves and to keep going with, with our dreams and not give up, you know? So basically it's just him and everyone else that, that's still skating, that's still uh, making art, making music. If they're into something else, it's, it's all good. But if they just keep harnessing that energy and keep mm -hmm. going, then that's what's going to make it happen. S style, it's everything it's since you were born you've had styles the way you walk the way you think about things the way you connect with people the way you wake up in the morning it's how, how good you make things look how comfortable you look doing what is whatever it is that you do if you're skateboarding and you, you're skating a certain way and it looks weird but it looks good at the same time then that's your style you know if you're um, grocery shopping and you put your car, you put your groceries in a certain way, or you walk around the the aisle differently, or whatever. It's just how you do it. It's being yourself, being authentic to how you feel comfortable in your own shoes. Yeah. Uh, would you consider working with any of these individuals? Yeah. De definitely. Like right now, it's it's all about school. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the level where they're at so I can help them, you know, right now it's just like little things and like throwing in ideas, but once once I get there, I know I'm going to want to work there and just be making shirts full time, making clothes full time, painting skateboards full time, like just every day just going into the shop and just producing, like the, the more you produce, the better everything is, the more things mm -hmm. you create, the better it is because you're adding on to what isn't there, you're not mm -hmm. taking away or like, you know. We all go through tough times in our life and you just take the little things for life and granted. I took skateboarding for granted. And it was just that day I went to the skate park. I was by myself. It was a, a day when I was hurt and I knew I should have not been skating that day and I ended up hurting myself even more. I broke my ankle. And I got surgery. I got a plate and five screws in here. And after that, I was just like, wow, dude, like, you hit rock bottom. Like, what are you doing? Like, you, you have that epiphany. Like, dude, what are you doing with yourself? Like, who are you? Like, what's your purpose here? And it was just like, wow, like, what am I doing? I saw a stack of, like, my old boards and, like, um, they, I got, like, a paint kit and, like, paintbrushes. And then I was just like, all right, I guess I'm going to paint this board and, like, I wrote it down. Some days are not easy and drew some buildings and like just super stoked and I, I just sat there. It was just when when you break your break of anything like and you can't walk and you're just sitting there and it's just like you don't wanna see your friends, you don't wanna go out, like you just wanna sit there and wait until you can walk. So it's just like this is my life right here and like I started painting and every day I just started painting after that and that was when I was 18, so I didn't start painting again until I was 18. Coming from a small town, 
And now that you're here, like, has the big city distracted you from your real purpose for being here? Or has it inspired you more? Yeah, it definitely. It goes both ways on and off. Like, I, I, when I first moved out here, it was just two of us. And so it was so hard. Like, it was just, you had so much time alone to yourself. And you're just walking out on the streets, like, taking the metro. And then you're seeing all these, like, billboards with, like, super hot chicks and, like, girls everywhere walking around like just just a crazy people as well like just you see the evil there's a lot of evil out here but there's also a lot of good you know so it's up to you every morning when you wake up it's like am i gonna attract this evil into me or am i gonna attract all the good into me so every day it's just like no like, just good dude good good thoughts man use everything and i remember like this teacher told me when you're doing work, you're going to find yourself to the point where, like, you completely forget about everything. You forget about your phone. You forget, like, talking to someone. Like, you may end relationships. Like, there's friends that you miss. There's so much family that you miss. I think that's the biggest struggle. And, like, that's what makes you an artist. It's, like, it's what makes you a painter. You paint how you're feeling that day. And it's, like... That's the hardest part, just not getting to see the people you've been seeing your whole life and, like, you can only communicate with them through the phone. Like, that's the biggest struggle, just, like, staying strong to your, your path and, like, knowing that it's all going to be good in the end.